Hey guys, and welcome back to A Cozy Lifestyle with Clarissa Collins. Today's video is twofold. Uh, number one, I have received my first friend mail, and I'm so excited to share that with you. And secondly, I am going to invite you in to my home for my lower level Christmas home tour, Christmas 2019 home tour. I'm excited to share it with you. Um, I've worked really hard to make our home feel Christmassy and comfy and my, my signature word, cozy. And so I'm going to share that with you as well. Um, before we get into that though, if you're new to my channel, um, welcome, we're glad to have you here. And please hit that subscribe button below. Um, that certainly helps my channel a lot. It is greatly appreciated by me and it doesn't cost you a thing. I'd love to have you join our little community here and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Um, this is a lifestyle channel, so we do a lot of decorating, um, upcycles, DIYs, organizing, which is my, my first love. And we also do uh, cooking and shopping hauls, if, if I didn't say that already. So there's a lot going on over here and I'm sure you'll find something that will be um, an incentive or um, will give you some inspiration as well. Um, I'm also in the coming year going to get into the cleaning, the cleaning videos as well. So stick around for that. And once you hit the subscribe button, also hit the little bell so that you'll be notified of all upcoming videos so that you won't miss a thing. If my voice sounds funny for my regulars, I'm fighting. I'm fighting uh, a cold. Um, there was a sick child in church yesterday and he was right in front of me. So um, I'm figuring that's where it came from, but I'm fighting it with everything I've got. So if I sound a little nasally or stuffy, that's the reason why. So let's get into this video. So come on in and let's share. So my first thing I want to share with you is, and guys, I'm going to admit it. I couldn't wait when I got it. I couldn't wait to open it here. I was excited to receive it. And this is from one of my um, sister YouTubers here, um, This and That. You can find her at This and That with Denise. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry, you can find her at, where is she? You can find her at This and That with Denise Jordan. She's a great YouTuber and um, she has a heart of gold. And she has started something that is genius, actually. Um, she chooses from her comments of the month. And um, come, and once she chooses, someone in that during that month will receive a gift. Someone who has commented something that really stuck or, or, or gave her some sort of incentive or just made her think or something that she enjoyed. And she will choose from all of her comments over the month and she will send that person a token of her appreciation for um, following her, for supporting her, her channel. And I think it's just a, it's a novel idea. It's, it's a very smart idea, actually. It's a way to let your subscribers and your sister YouTubers know that you appreciate um, them stopping by and, you know, enjoying your content because it is time consuming to be a YouTuber. Take it from me. It's not just, we don't just, oh, well, here's a video. There's videoing, there's deciding what topic to choose. Then there's the editing. And for me, it's not the sharing with you guys. It's the editing that um, is very time consuming for me. And also, you know, learning to, to use the, the camera equipment and to get crisp photos and video. That's very hard. Um, it's very hard work. And so she's She's showing her appreciation. So I'm going to put Denise's a link to her channel down below just in case you don't know who she is. You'll be glad you stopped over there. And if you do, please tell her that I sent you. But I'm going to share with you what she sent me. She liked one of my comments and I was chosen for the month as a winner. Now, it's, it's, it's a measuring cup and it's by X, um, OXO. Um, it's, got a, it's called Good Grip. Good grips is the name, and it does have a good handle, and it's got a good grip. But the 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 good thing about this is the the measurements in here. I have several uh, measuring cups. I have measuring spoons. I have them all. But this sort of um, 
can cover everything. It's cups. It's also, it look, looks here like it's also um, like a quarter spoon, a third spoon, a half spoon. Um, if I'm looking at it correctly, I think you can do cups and spoons. I'm not sure. I'll have to, maybe not. But it's, it's just really nice. And you see how it's made in there. It's got the writing in there. It gives you the, the measurements. And it's, it's different, and it's by OXO, so I tell you, it's light, because the one I have is glass, so it's heavy before you put the stuff in. But um, I really appreciate this. I want to say thank you, Denise. Um, I'm glad you thought of me. I'm glad I was chosen. And I'm that person that rarely, rarely wins anything, so I'm very excited to receive that. So thank you, Denise. And again, guys, I will leave a link to her channel down below. Um, so with that out of the way, why don't we get into my home tour. Um, I talk through it. I'm giving you the daytime look and I'm explaining where things come from. And then I have also added pictures um, for you to see it at night with the lights on and everything. And with that, I'm just going to play music. Now, if you have any questions at all about anything that you see, if I missed anything or I didn't tell you where something's from or if I DIY'd it or whatever, just ask in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I really, really do. So, with that said, we're going to go ahead and get started with this uh, with this tour. I hope you will enjoy it. Come on in and let's see my Christmas house. So we are starting this Christmas tour on the outside. And as you can see, we have the gold and red bows on the bay window golden red bows on the wreath, teardrop wreath on the door, a red bow on our night light, and the golden red bow on our post lamp. You wouldn't believe it, but we have blown, we blew the leaves uh, yesterday, but if you look around at where I live in all this wooded and tree area, you can see that blowing the leaves, <laughs> although it does help because we would be inundated if we didn't, they're back within 10 minutes or some form. So I just decided to show you what we have. Now, in this bucket here, I have poinsettias. And I wanted to put them here, but I'm going to get you a little closer. Can you hear the kids playing down the street? <laughs> they're having fun. Um, if I get you a little closer, you can see that my moms are just doing so well until I just couldn't bring myself to just throw them away um, and they were still blooming so I have a little bit of fall and I got a surprise for you and a little bit of Christmas and check this out y'all I have one pink rosebud so I still have a little bit of summer my roses just outdid themselves this past year so I have one little bud there. I couldn't believe it when I came out to go to church this morning. But there she is. So the poinsettia is here. And that's a closer look at my teardrop wreath. And these are all lit. And I'll try and get you some pictures tonight when everything, the house is lit up. But for now, let's come on in the house. It's warmer in here. It's cold out there. So right here as you enter the door, or enter, you'll see on this side of the wall, I have a joy sign. It's the red truck with the tree. And all I did for that was to put one of those little red ribbons here. And above it is my sign that I DIY'd that says blessed coming in and blessed going out. And for Christmas, oh, I'm really close, guys. All I did for it was to add the black and red bows above. Those are two bows, um, kind of shoestring bows, that I made myself to go over that for the holidays. Now, if we turn behind the door. Hello. You'll see that I have... And I change out the florals in my farmer's market bag seasonally. And here I have some poinsettias draping from that bag. 
and these two are also DIYs as is the mirror it was gold and I dry brushed it that too is a DIY now if I turn and you see the back of my door there is a tin a flower tin filled with berries greenery and red berries greenery and white poinsettias which are my favorite I prefer those over the red actually and then you have another bow that I added to that to match now I'm gonna back up a little because I want you to see my friend sitting there in the corner by the door to welcome everyone is my little snow girl who's all ready to go skiing isn't she cute she is precious I picked her up last year from CVS pharmacy believe it or not and she has a buddy as well and if you allow me to turn slowly without making you dizzy you're facing him when you come in the door and this is my little snowman all dressed up for winter as well and in front of him is a lantern that I dressed if you will for winter and there is a light in there and I put a candle a battery operated candle in there and there are also some gold and silver Christmas balls and that's all that's in there and the top is some green a greenery pick that I picked up from I want to say Dollar General that I hung on the side and then put the bow on the top and to match that if I turn you is the second one dressed the exact same way the greenery is a little different the pick I might say um, this one is a white poinsettia and this one has red berries same bows while this one is a silver poinsettia with silver berries here and they greet you at the door also on my little bench here I found this Merry Christmas pillow it is so pretty and so plush and I think I showed this to you guys in a haul where I found that at Home Centric and I believe it was $12.99 because I had said I wasn't buying any more pillows just colors but this one was so classic and I love the colors of it and it just goes with the bench and my my soft fluffy throw there so I did I did pick up one pillow just one let me think I don't want to tell you anything wrong pillow pillow and not pillow cover this season and that was it okay before we get to the staircase I'm gonna turn you over here to another little corner and let's start up above I have a lighted wreath that I put together last year with red poinsettias uh, the red truck let's see if I can get you a better light there you go the red truck ribbon and I also added red trucks to the wreath itself and I adorned it with Christmas balls in silver and then I wrapped the uh, lights around it I created this one last year okay and right below that his I like to call him father time but I guess he is also a Santa of sorts and he has a bag of berries and I've had him for many many years I picked him up when we lived in Germany and I guess that's why he looks a little different than our American Santas and next to him I have a DIY candelabra it was green I made it white with a Christmas tree sitting atop and it's sitting inside one of those wreaths that I picked up from Dollar Tree did I okay I'm gonna say it this way. you see the Dollar Tree or Dollar General the wreaths and I just put the wreath at the top of the um, candelabra and sat the tree in, on top this tree does not light up or anything but it has a little shimmer to it if you can see that the little gold rings around each tier of it and sitting in that and I don't know why I don't have it lit hold on just a second okay and this is all sitting in um, 
some of the uh, Christmas lights, the twinkle lights as well. This little wrought iron piece they're all sitting in, I picked up at a uh, little junkie store in Williamsburg, Virginia a few years back. I think that I did a haul with it when I got back because I did, we, we were there for a long, long, for a four day weekend and I did some thrifting. And that little piece has been sitting in the corner ever since. Below I just have some uh, vase fillers and a little, little, I don't know, it's, it's ceramic, it's really pretty. I picked that up at the same thrift store and it sits there all the time. It's kind of actually Tuscan look to it and that sits there always. I probably should have put some red balls in it and I still may before we have our holiday gathering. Now that I'm looking at it, it'd be pretty with some red or some silver balls in it. But anyway, I'm going to take you into, you guys have been here a minute, you know how small my powder room is. So, I'm standing outside the door to do this because it's really tiny. I have two towels and they say cuddle weather and I doubled them up so that each layer will say cuddle weather. And then I have a little tasseled tie there. And then in this corner here, I have a silver Christmas tree with candy canes that I picked up from Roses a couple of years ago. I remember that. And the little snowman sitting in front. He looks like the Tin Man actually, but he's a snowman. Also came from Roses and they kind of match. They look nice together. Panning around to the other side. I have my Believe sign here and sitting in front of that, I'm going to try and back up a little, is a little red barn or silo even with that's snow capped with um, little Christmas trees sitting in front. And over here I have my Bath and Body Works peppermint uh, hand soap. I love that stuff. I love it when it goes on sale. I use that sometimes all year round just because I love the fragrance. Okay, I'm going to turn you around to the back. And there's not much going on back here except I added the black and red bows just to add a little Christmas and this little candle sits back here as well. And that's the extent of the Christmas. I didn't do anything up top on my shelf there. Um, because the bathroom is so small, you, no one would ever see it anyway. Um, but I do like to add a little touch. And when I do, I try to add it here where it's shown from the door. Now hanging on the doorknob is my Christmas broom with my little Christmas mouse. And that's hanging using some of the same ribbon that I used to make my other bows, the black and the red check. And that's my little powder room. So we're going to back out of here, light out. And I'm going to show you the stairwell where we have hung garland. And it's lit. If I turn this light off, you can see the lights a little better. But I'm going to try and get you a, a nighttime view as well. And we have four stockings hanging there as you enter. And there are three, and these little poinsettias that you're seeing here were actually Dollar Tree poinsettias. These are the ones with the clips. And so I clipped three on that. And I think that came out really cute. Okay. Now above the stairwell on these two mirrors here that I ordered from Kirkland's last year or early this year, I only hung two of the, one each of the um, Jingle Bells from Dollar Tree ornament on it. I think they're very, very cute. And, and the bells actually jingle. <laughs> I love that. Now I'm going to turn you top of my stairs. I have a little table there that was DIY. And I have a snowman. Can you see that? Let's take it further out. Let's see if I can get them a little closer. I have a snowman sitting front and center with a Christmas tree behind him. And then on the left is my diffuser. And in it I have um, peppermint. The house is filling with peppermint. 
the fragrance. I love that during the Christmas holiday. That and balsam are my favorite Christmas fragrances. Lining my steps are my Christmas bears. I missed a great collab earlier in the season. I hate that because... Okay guys, so my battery died. I had to... And my backup battery was also dead, so I had to wait a few minutes. But I was showing you, I think, and I hope if we had gotten this far, um, my collection of Christmas bears. And they are lining the stairs. I don't get them anymore, but I used to get one every year when I lived in South Carolina. And they're, they're dated. Let's see if I can find one. Yeah, if you see Snowflake, got that one way back in 1995 woohoo and I don't see them anymore but there was a shop in South Carolina where I was that sold them and I used to get one every year they wash up really well they keep really well and so they're still here okay and if I turn you around you will see my entry table and I'm going to sit here on the stairs so you can see it. On the top here, well above it, you know, there's just my DIY mirror and candelabras. And the candelabras are battery operated. And I think that we allowed some batteries to corrode inside because they don't come on anymore. I'm going to have to replace them with something else up there real soon. But for now, um, the mirror. And then sitting below that is another little Christmas tree. Um, and it's all decorated in red and white and silver and in front of that is a DIY I did this J this joy out of three um, old candle jars the two on the end and the one in the middle was just one of those Dollar Tree little round bowls and um, I used one of the Dollar Tree wreaths as the O in the center. This was a DIY that I shared with you guys and if you um, haven't seen it I can put the link below. Also I'm going to try and remember this afternoon to put all of my DIYs for this Christmas in one playlist so they'll all be there for your convenience. Now on the side over here I have two thrifted candle paper candle holders and if you look closely they're angels. And you guys know I collect angels. So there's one here and on the bottom of it, the top of it, the bottom of the candle, I have one of the Dollar Tree wreaths. And on the other side, I have the same thing. Behind it is another uh, DIY candelabra uh, that I painted. There's one of those on either side as well for continuity. And inside is greenery and that always sits there and inside that I added some red poinsettias. Now these candelabras, um, I added that little glass thing there that's holding the greenery and that used to be on one an old chandelier and I took them off and I E6000 it once painted to the tall candlestick because that stamp candlestick actually only holds a taper as large as it is. Okay, and that's on both sides. And this tree, as I said, is decked out in red and silver. This table itself is a, an upside door DIY. Um, it was very, very rustic country. And although I'm modern farmhouse, this was a little too rustic for me. So I stained the top and I painted it the um, white and did the stencil on the front. And yeah. On the bottom shelf, I just have a, a glass container, I guess a vase, and I filled it with gold ornaments and just one red on top. And you'll see that throughout um, a lot of my vignettes. I have just the one red inserted like on a tree or in uh, a decorative uh, item like this. And it was just to add a pop of red. I'm not really a red girl. But, you know, it's Christmas, so you have to have red and green. But I thought, just a pop. And, you know, to me, for me, it makes it a little interesting as well. 
Next to that is a pillow. I said I only picked up one earlier. This is the other. I did pick up another. This one was from the Target Dollar Spot, and I'm sure everyone has it. It's the Made with Love Mrs. Claus Cookie Company pillow. And I believe that was $5. It was just so cute, and it fit perfectly there, so I picked that up. And then on the other side is just the wicker basket that always sits there. And then, as you saw, next to that is my little snow boy and um, my lantern. Okay? All right. So, moving right along. Next to that, I have two closet doors. One here and one here. This one being right here on my right, a storage room. And this one on my left is a coat closet. And what I've done here was to add two matching wreaths. And they're lighted. And you can't see them because the light's on. But again, I'll try and get a walk through when it's dark. And there's one here. And then there's one here. And that's really pretty when you come in from the front door at night and they're both on. Okay. Now we're going to move into the living room. And where should I start? Let's not start with the tree. Let's turn this way. So on my wall unit this year we added garland. And it's not pre-lit. We added the lights as well. And then inside, let's go one by one I guess. I added just again a pop of red like here in this crystal bowl there's a red poinsettia here with crystal balls and I love that vase it's a thrifted vase and if you can see up close it's ruffled edges and I think I shared that with you guys I got that at the beach this year and it's filled with silver balls and then I added the red for a pop of color over here in the crystal up top if I can get you there it is I just added another red poinsettia and here on the front of that cabinet is some greenery and I added the bow to match the other bows in the room and it's greenery and hanging from that are pine cones with snow on them which is very very Christmassy it's actually wintry Versus Christmassy, I could probably use the, this throughout the winter if I chose to. Now coming to the next glass, glass cabinet, it has the same greenery on front with the pine cones and the bow that I added. And top, it already had a pop of red because I have bird crystal. I got it from Germany and it has the red in it. I don't know if you can see the bird. The camera's going to pick that up for you. But the background of the bird is red. And I have several pieces. This is all the way across. So that was my pop of red on that shelf. And then here, and then there's a little red rose, a glass rose there. And on this shelf to another vase. And this one is a DIY. This, although it's in with crystal bells, is not crystal. It's a glass container one of the round ones I picked up from Dollar Tree and what I did was I married it to a short candelabra to give it some height I hope you can see that so inside that I added um, another red poinsettia and moving down on the left here I have another DIY these were both um, separate and I married them the bottom was just the regular silver candelabra that I thrifted and the top was another of the another one of the um, uh, globes for another chandelier that I thrifted at Habitat for Humanity and I married them and made them a vase as well and that's that and then over here on the bookshelf portion up here I have a Christmas house. It's very ornate. That was a gift. Um, not something I don't think I would have bought, but it's cute and I use it because it, someone thought enough of me to give it to me. So there it is. Over here is a little red truck that says All Roads Lead Home. On the other side is a Santa dinner bell. I collect dinner bells. As you saw, most of them are crystal, but I have this one as well. And in the back, back here on this shelf, are is a, a huge, what they call, brandy sniffer. 
and it's filled with silver balls and that one red for a pop of color. Next to that is one of the Dollar Tree Merry Christmas trees. I thought I was going to DIY it, but once I sat it here, it was okay, so I left it. I needed that pop of red. Next to it is a shelf sitting Santa. Below on this shelf, we have, let's see, let's start over here, a DIY bottle that I decoupaged with the little red truck and added a bow and it says Merry Christmas. Next to that is a red truck. It's really pretty at night because the tree lights up. It's battery operated. Next to that is a small red truck with the tree in the back and the grill and the grill and the bumper are sort of blinged out with glitter and then on the side on the runner in that or it's snow. It's really cute. And I think I picked that up from Dollar General last year. And then next to it is another shelf sitting Santa. Below is another one of the Dollar Tree trucks. I bought two because like I said, I thought it was going to be a DIY project. But I left them alone and they look okay. I separated them by the actual red trucks. And uh, so I guess you could call this my Santa red truck <laughs> Okay. Over here is another Santa. He has a pop of red. And here again is another shelf sitting Santa. Okay, and that would cover that. Now as I move back and turn this way, I have filled my uh, storage box over here with a throw that's checked for winter and a pillow that has the red truck and lots and lots of snow. You guys know I'm, I'm praying and waiting and praying and waiting for snow. And as I back up, these two storage units here also serve as seating. And this is a DIY. Hubs and I recovered these earlier or late in the spring or late in the summer. And I don't know if I did a video on that or not. It was kind of um, spur of the moment. I think maybe I did. And if I find it, I'll put the link to it below. This, like I said, I don't know, my, my camera cut off again. Um, I was saying they were that black leather and I didn't like it. So we took um, a drop cloth, a painter's drop cloth, and we recovered. And I like that much better. This chair normally sits in the other corner, but now the tree is there for the season. So it's here. And, and it is another th pillow with the red truck. And lots of snow. In the corner back here is another Santa and he lights up in the evenings because there's a tea light candle inside and there's two of them. There's one on the other side of the shrunk or wall unit as well. Now as I back up underneath my TV I have three uh, Christmas houses. I have shared these with you before I'm sure. Um, I happened to mention to my husband that I liked them and last year they kept showing up. So now I have three, four, five of these. But they're cute and they store pretty easily. This one is the most ornate and the tree moves and it does play music. I think I've shared that with you before. The music stays off. Okay. It's kind of irritating. And then this one I used to keep in my kitchen all year round because it's actually something that like a night light it was in my kitchen but I've since moved it I really love that one and over here is another and this one is really pretty too and it has snow on the roof and everything it looks like a an old manor of some sort and then the other two small ones are Dollar Tree and they sit there and on the other side I have lanterns with the red and black bows and I have one on this side and in the center, the center center, is this huge vase that I have and I filled it with silver Christmas balls and there inside is that one red for a pop of color. Below that I have my joy and below that I have my Christmas bear and my two Christmas boots. And the greenery is not lighted. We put the lights on. And that's some beautiful greenery that I picked up end of season last year from AC Moore. They were having a great sale after Christmas. And it's really pretty greenery. 
and these actually are battery operated candles as well which will be on when I show you my nighttime look moving right along to this table over here I have a vase that I keep here and I change the greenery per season and now it's all decked out for Christmas this greenery and a white one white um, poinsettia and berries it's quite simple but I think it's very very pretty and there once again is another one of the lighted Christmas houses sitting there I think that one's very rustic and pretty too I love it I love that one on either side there's a a glass I don't think this is crystal a glass candelabra that I have two that I thrifted and in each is a gold ornament I was matching the, my lamp next to that and then two gold Christmas trees and I think this table came out very pretty yeah okay I'll back up and let you get the full view of that table it's kind of hard because the tree is there too but there you go I think it's pretty and then down below I have one of the target houses with the snow on the roof and in the back back there I have a snowman I probably should take him out because you can't really see him with the tree and he's cute <laughs> and he's sitting on cloth that makes it look like he's sitting in snow and then on this side I have gold balls Christmas balls in this container here that sits there all the time okay you guys have seen my tree because I did the decorate my tree or tree trimming but there she is in all her glory I will back up and this room is really pretty at night and sitting next to her is my snowman and it reads let it snow okay now my ottoman that I'm using for my coffee table has another uh, floral arrangement that I did it has red and white uh, poinsettias berries and uh, eucalyptus okay and below that is a Santa and a candle and that fragrance is stress relief and then sitting here this is also a tea light candle and it's two pieces it was gifted to me I think it's really cute it's like a little lantern and I would light that as well my couch has its regular pillows and then I added two Christmas pillows but they are covers one says Noel Noel and one has a church Go this way and then this one says Noel behind my couch are my two pillows my I'm sorry my two pictures stepping out on faith I have the female on this side that you're looking here and the male on the other side and I added a wreath with bows to both of those so that stepping out on faith that you can't see right now because you can't see her on one side and then the other side here we go okay and I'm gonna back up this way oh this little table back here I forgot about it has another one of my upcycles or DIYs there's also a candle in it it's really pretty at night this I took a pickle jar and if you can see it looks like it has see if I can snow all over it and I decoupage that photo in there and it's added a bow painted the top and it's really pretty when the candle is on inside the snow glistens because I also added glitter so that's pretty next to that is just a little little snowman and he lights up too but the lamp back there stays on all the time so now but there is a candle that sits on a warmer always and when the fragrance dies down I just add a few drops of oil so now I'm gonna turn you around this way see if I can give you a shot of the room okay and the one thing I did not share was my um, runner that I have on my coffee table and it has the little red truck with again with the tree and it says Merry Christmas and snowflakes are on it too so as I back you up okay let's see there you go so that's the tree 
pan around and all the way around okay and now I'm going to turn to the dining room and this little chair I think I told you guys was mine my I haven't I had an uncle who made this for me when I was born and I've left it in South Carolina when I moved away because uh, my grandfather kept it and when my grandfather passed away and um and my daughter was born actually it was when my daughter was born my uncle took it cleaned it up and mailed it to me and I think at that time I was in Illinois and he thought enough of me to um, clean her up and mail it to me and I've had it ever since I haven't painted it I just keep it clean just the way he made it I just love it and in that little chair um, is a pillow with a snowman and a lantern and this little chair I will say has done three generations because it was mine my my daughter used it and my grandson and my granddaughter also used it so it will be there until it is no longer or I'm no longer back here is my buffet and let's get this view first um, it's kind of hard the lighting is bad because the window is behind it but at least you can see that it's lit the garland is lit this garland I actually tried the um, the spray snow because I wanted it to be flocked and it came out kind of nice as I get you closer I'll show you that but that's the entire thing it's kind of pretty I think okay so on it I have the garland and it's not pre-lit I added the lights and as I said I added the snow and inside I have um, Christmas ornaments the balls and this uh, greenery here came with little candy canes on it I've had that for years and years so I just mixed it in with the new the new one I made the bows on either end of that and it goes all the way across the buffet starting on this end back here I have my platter that sits here always it's I picked this up a few years ago from Bed Bath Beyond it was on sale it's huge I've never even used it it's so big but it was so pretty I got it for $12 this is another DIY I think I've shared with you guys before I married another two vases and then I engraved this actually I think that's what you call it yeah and it says family if you can see that I don't know it's sitting on another DIY uh, that's a Dollar Tree plate with a thrifted vase that I filled with um, the clear uh, what do you call those things I guess uh, uh, marbles and they kind of glitter with the light I hope you can see that they're really pretty it actually looks expensive but it's not and sitting on that as well are Mr. and Miss Santa they're just perched up there okay here I have one angel and a target dollar spot um, silo next to that I have again two DIY candelabras I painted one black one white added black bow black and white bow and this I did the same I did the um, what do you call it frosting myself um, I put rubber bands so that these would have stripes rubber bands on this one and I used something else on this one I think it was thin tape to get that look and uh, yeah so next to that are two more of the white houses from Target Dollar Spot my angel sits in the middle she's usually lit I just noticed that her light is out I will fix that as soon as I'm done with this video and next are two more of the white houses from Target Dollar Spot sitting next to that are my brush trees and they are sitting on a pedestal that I believe I picked up at Target I don't know if it was the Dollar Spot this thing keeps cutting off I hope you didn't miss anything I'll go back to the trees sitting on the pedestal and another angel perched here and then my sign that says enjoy the little things that sits there most of the time and behind it is another DIY and that's just a mason jar that I married with a tall candelabra if you can see 
I painted the candelabra white, the top, and I had a finial that I put on the top of this. I only did half the jar because I wanted that ball to show. And um, it's really pretty when it's filled. I probably should have filled it with um, some fake snow or some Epsom salt to look like snow or something. But anyway, that's there. And that is my buffet, my Christmas buffet. If I turn you over here, my shutters that I DIY'd and shared with you. If you didn't see that, there's a video on that as well. I added to the little wreaths because they always hang there. I added my Christmas bear. She's an angel bear. And the bow. The black and the red. Coming across that to the mirror. Okay. Hey! In the tin that hangs over the mirror, I have white poinsettias, greenery that's always there, and red berries. And of course, my signature this year, the black and white, I'm sorry, the black and red bow. Next to that is the other shutter, and it's decorated the same as the other, with another uh, Christmas angel bear and the red and black ribbon. Turning you slowly around in this corner on another DIY little table. It's just a another floral arrangement with um, greenery and white poinsettias and the black and red bow. Okay, I added the black and white red bow to my window as well because that wreath is always there. And if I turn you to this side. I shared this with you, the hot cocoa, I think I did, the hot cocoa um, DIY sign up there. I made that. And if I haven't shared the video already, it will be coming soon. And below that is my cocoa bar. And I know there's a video for that, so I'm going to let that video come out. It's, it's done in red, and I'll let that stand. Now, if we step back and you look at my table, it is not set for eating. It is just Christmassy. So what I have is my dough bowl and it's filled to the brim with greenery. Remove this tree. Uh, an angel. Let me get it right. Pine cones. Just all Christmassy stuff is in there. Um, sitting next to it is a crystal candelabra and it has a candle in that's uh, battery operated. Next to it is another crystal bowl. That wasn't there before. They just came into my home. Uh, my husband picked them up so had to put them somewhere. So I added that one on this side and then he got that really pretty vase over there. I'm thinking I may, when I set my table, do my table in this crystal. Um, white, white and crystal I'm thinking that's my gonna be my go-to when I set it for Christmas. That's there. This tree is a DIY that I did recently and there should be a video on that and if it's not out already by the time this one comes out it will be coming out soon but I think I'm going to put that out first before I do this. And it's one of those tins that you pick up from Dollar Tree and uh, the Christmas tree, the white Christmas tree is also from Dollar Tree and I'll tell you and show you how I did that in another video. So that's the dining room. Now I'm going to back out and go into the kitchen and give you a view of the dining room. Oh, the lighting's horrible because the the windows there, but that's it. Okay. And pan back around. Okay, now if I slowly turn you to my kitchen, we're going to start over here. It looks like I'm going to need some light. And I'll turn this one on too, just in case. So in this corner, I know there was a DIY on this. Um, my two-tier tray, or this entire little corner here, is decorated as a cocoa bar and a Christmassy cocoa bar at that. And this was something I just picked up because 
I was trying to make another collab and I missed it, but that's um, a little container that says Santa's milk for when we put together Santa's tray on Christmas Eve. And so that's that corner. And there is, there is um, a video out for this little corner here. So if you're interested in how I put this together, I can leave that below. Or as I said, you can check out my Christmas 2019 playlist. Moving right along, the pinch, sprinkle, and dash canisters came from Dollar General. And again, I just want to add a little bit of red. As you can see, I'm throwing red in with my normal black and white. And here at my sink, I have a Christmas tree sitting on either side with the black and white and red and black bows and in, I, in both trees there is one red ornament and one red and white candy cane. Next, oh and perched on that is my shelf sitting snowmen, one on each. These little trees came from I want to say Target Dollar Spot last year or the year before. Okay, next to that is a thrifted snowman, it's a cookie jar. Next to that is um, a wax burner, and next to that, I did, didn't did want to move my rooster, so I just added the, the ribbon to him, and I let him sit there and be for, decorated for Christmas as well. And the candle I'm burning in here is Breathe. And on this side, um, where I keep my oils, I didn't add much, just a Christmas box and that candle back there, and it does hold a tea light, and it's really pretty when it's on. Okay, turning around to my pantry door, there is a wreath that I made last year. I made the bow and put the ornaments and the um, pine cones on. And hanging in the middle is a sleigh. Uh, right, oh, right here. So, that's that wreath. And if I turn you around, now we're going to be facing a window again. Um, we have my Christmas tree. And in the bay window also there's some greenery here. And I added white poinsettias to that. And there's one on either side. On either side of the Christmas tree there is a battery operated candle with Christmas greenery around it and the Christmas bow in the red and the green. My centerpiece for my table, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this. It's sitting in a tray. I have a thrifted this cheese um, cheese server and in that I just place some silver balls and if you look closely there's a red one in there as well and edit the bows to the top the same bows are on the Christmas tree and this is another one of the Target Target Dollar Spot trees that I picked up and it has a red ornament in it as well. On either side are battery operated taper candles and they are sitting in two DIY candelabras which are draped with um, two of the beaded uh, tassels, tassels maybe? Beaded tassels. Okay, we're coming to the end. So if I turn to this side, this was also a video when I did this two-tier tray as well. And if you'd like to see that, it will be in my playlist for Christmas 2019. And um, I decked out my rooster with some red and white. This is red and white has been added just throughout the house or red and black. It was red and white or red and black to all of the other colors and mainly black and white. Here is another one of the Christmas trees and it has one of the uh, Dollar Tree uh, little garlands around it. There's a snowman sitting in the center and a snowman shelf sitter sitting out front and in the back is my oil burner. And this is our fruit, <laughs> our fruit bowl that sits here always. And so to make it Christmassy because it's sitting there, I just put some greenery around it and hot glued some ornaments on it. But again, there's a video on that and the little red truck with the Christmas tree. And this is a salt and pepper shaker. 
but I glued it on because I'm never going to use it for for that and I just liked it okay and so if I turn this way you can get a full view of at least this side of the kitchen okay okay oh and on my refrigerator I added tea towels one says joy and they're hanging on my cutting boards and one says and one is just red on my cabinets I have the reindeer and one is sitting is sharing the door with green with a green uh, towel and one is sharing with red and on my stove it's the red and white with the little red truck and if I turn you slowly please don't get dizzy as you enter the kitchen on this rod over here these are two from Dollar Tree that say winter wishes and the other one says it's the most wonderful time of the year and guys I think oh underneath this tree that's sitting in the window I have a little snowman that says Merry Christmas I've had him for many 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 moons um, the tree skirt that I'm using for this little tree is actually a dish towel and then I have a box over there that's a fake gift this tree is done in red silver and black red silver and black okay all right I think we've done it okay there's only one thing that I'm thinking about doing and that is changing out these candles that are in these candelabras one on either side of my bay window to something a little more Christmassy I'm thinking about doing it I don't know if it's necessary I think I've got a lot of Christmas in this house in this little space <laughs> but it makes us happy so that's the tour of my lower level my Christmas tour 2019 I hope you have enjoyed it I hope that you felt comfy and you were comfy uh, all cuddled up with something warm to drink and had fun watching and I'm going to try and come back without talking and just give you a view of what it looks like at night when it gets a little darker so stay tuned okay guys so I'm going to give you a peek at what it looks like after dark it's really freezing outside so I didn't go all the way back out but this is my teardrop uh, door wreath all lit up and I'll try and give you a view of the other wreaths from the kitchen window lit up as well so it is really cold tonight so I'm going to close this door and we're going to come on in and as you can see Things are a little more vibrant at night when they're lit. We've seen all of this earlier today, but it looks a little different. It looks really pretty at night. Those two wreaths on either door, you can tell they're lit now. The two tapers on my entry table. And then the lighted vase below as well. You're lit from all angles coming into this this space. So we're gonna walk into the living room. And it almost looks like there are lights on. Um, there's a small lamp over here, and that wattage is 60, no, 40. So the lights are actually from all the twinkles.
I love that reflection in that uh, picture there, picture frame of the twinkle lights on the tree. That's really pretty to me. And it's hard for you to see. Maybe you can see it better if I turn this lamp off. Here we are. But you can see that the jar is all lit up as well. My DIY jar, jar looks really pretty with the candles inside. And so, my angels lit, a couple of the houses are lit, a couple of them, the batteries must be dead from last year. My little DIY is lit. The table only has two battery operated candles and they are lit. But in a room this size with all the lights, I think that's enough. For now, maybe more once I set the table. Even my beverage station has a little candle. So the top is lit as well. If you go into the kitchen, that candle lever is on. I'll turn this down. Maybe. The candle is still going. Over in this corner, you can tell that the little candles light it up. And I didn't go back outside, like I said. I'll get these on for you too. But you can see from the window that the wreaths are on. It's just cold. is lit as are the candles surrounding it. And nothing much changes on this side. It's always lit. And this is the view, <coughs> excuse me, of the entryway from the kitchen. Friends, I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed my, tour, my tour, my holiday tour 2019. I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. Um, it's always fun to share what I do in our little space with you. I hope you will subscribe to my channel by hitting the button below. And once you subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified of all upcoming videos. It won't cost you a thing and it will, I will certainly appreciate it. I am wishing you and yours a very merry, safe, happy filled with love Christmas. I want to thank you guys, my ride or die, for sticking and staying and for stopping by to view um, all of my videos. And if you're new to my channel, we want to welcome you. You're welcome to this, this little community. Um, there's going to be lots going on in the upcoming new year, so please remember to come back. And you can always do that by subscribing and hitting the bell. And with that said, my friends, I'm going to wish you all once again a very Merry Christmas, a safe holiday season. And as always, I'm going to leave you with hugs and blessings. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.